Oh, hello. Can we make a little bit of an effort with this video? Hello and welcome. So, what's in the box? What is in the box? All the way from Australia, it's Saturday. I ordered this on Monday night. Wow, that's sarcasm. That's like, well done. Like seriously, well done. I've been trying to post a par parcel to New Zealand and my brother, right? For like four or five days now. I've tried three or four different post offices. Like one person was getting, I don't know how to do it. The next post office says, I can't post anything today internationally. I was like, what? The third post office was getting, she's definitely full of shit. So yeah, okay, so well done on the postage. Now, obviously at Lonely Tree Entertainment, I'm a big fan of Corey Emma, Corey Feldman. And I've, at the moment, been on a bit of a binge of buying imported stuff again. And I'm actually waiting on two VHSs. That was four. But yeah. Uh, recently I picked up, din 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 din, din Watchers. An American uh, small box, English seller. So I was all over that, over the moon. I'm watching a few more. Just, it's, just, it's bad. It's a bad habit. And uh, yeah, this is a two quarries one. But recently... Um, I've completed my last resort video and which is the final episode and which technically should be the final episode if you're watching this I'm gonna tell you right now when I talk about the Americans I actually got a life 101 which is a ridiculously rare Corey Haim film which I haven't seen since I used to have it back in the day and it was sort of left out of the series it was mentioned it was kind of there's a few Haim films not available uh, like Big Wolf on campus and stuff like that I brought it up in that episode um, but it may find itself having its own episode when this VHS comes from America. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes that to come from America. In fact, I've got somebody else from Australia on the floor. And that that was reasonable, that was two or three weeks. So when you talk about Last Resort, I've purposely picked this angle so you can see the original Last Resort and you can see my Last Resort together as they take over the room. And the video is mental, it takes place over a year um, Vampire Mike, Rob and Dan have cameos in it. I mean, a new nowhere, Matt Fairley, Carl McSorley and Corey Feldman all pop up in the video. And it's bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers. And I found some of it on eBay a couple of, wait, it was, it was, it was only a couple of days ago. I still can't believe it came from Australia. And I'm like blown away by it because I used to have this and unfortunately I did think this was a big box and I always think big boxes are rare but also I think when it comes to Corey Haim and Corey Feldman I think the sell throughs are even a little bit more rarer to get a hold of in 2023. Now when I lived in New Zealand in 1996 um, Last Resort was in the local video shop and I went to rent the big box and the guy couldn't find the tape and I ended up just having the tape because he couldn't find the tape, the tape had gone missing and I'm a big fan, and there's the laser disc. There's the American VHS. There is the DVD from Hell that I've been watching for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months and months and months. And months. And that is the Big Box UK edition, um, which is at the moment rocking around on eBay for about 50 quid. And I'm going to keep one of these handy, just one of them. I'll keep them two handy. And, except for this video, you know, there's a small box um, VHS that I've just dug out. Um, and as I say, for that to get a sell through, it's crazy. And again, like Dan mentioned in the last resort video, there was a big publicity behind this. They really, really tried to push it. And unfortunately, it just didn't live up. And that's what I found it really cool. And when I realized, when I did the last resort video, that I was on a downward spiral um, in life <laughs> and managed to sort of uh, change direction. I really like this film. I think it needs some love and I'm, I'm collecting stuff now before a little bit more exposure is made about the film. Anyway, um, I remember the artwork in New Zealand being very similar to the New Zealand one. So the American one. But it was definitely summit and I met um, one of my friends at work the other day called Chris and uh, actually opened this. You know, it's like a cheat intro you've just seen, but yeah, look at this. That's how I know it wasn't a big box. Well, there we go, nicely packaged. And this is an Australian New Zealand um, sell through. That's really cool to have. But what I got, and massive nostalgia was just the back. That totally brought back a lot of memories. Um, Corey Feldman, The Lost Boys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Corey Haim, The Lost Boys, Fast Getaway 1 and 2, Send Help, uh, Get the Babes. So I had this on a big box, no tape. And even the tape, look. 
the tape's almost like a sample edition. Um, you know, I mean, that could just be a, that could be just a fake tape. But the box is awesome, you know what I mean? And the prices as well, I mean, you're talking about 20 quid easy to post from, obviously, um, Australia to here. And that is going to live. Kind of like, it's a weird one because when I come to collecting the import VHSs, I've got a couple of Germans. I've got a couple of um, Italian ones, Japanese ones, a few Americans. And I try to now start to try and group these together. But this is obviously the first New Zealand sell-through I've actually got. You know, I don't ha own any sell-throughs from New Zealand at all so this is it's awesome that this has actually come back into my collection in a way and get a hold of it and it's in lovely condition barcode on the side that would be brilliant for stock taking and as I said it takes the American uh, poster and really strips back the colour I mean they've gone a bit you know if you look at the American version of it you know they've really pumped the colour up on that but again that's really cool M written but yeah as I said, this is kind of like one of my throwaway videos. Obviously, I was ticker-tackling around at the start with the unboxing and the knives and stuff like that. And again, going forward, I am being trying to be more creative. But again, hopefully this will come out either just before the last resort video, hopefully, <laughs> or after it. But yeah, see you in the outtakes. <laughs> Now, the only outtake I really got is Vampire Mike has a version where it says Last Resort with that cover on. And I tell you what, I went and looked the other night. There was one a couple of weeks ago, and I was worried about the American stuff, hence why I was talking about um, Life 101. Life 101's been on eBay, I've seen it a couple of times, but you're talking nearly 60, 70 pound, and I'm like, not paying that. And it's the customs fees. So I managed to pick one up for a reasonable 35 pound postage last night. Last Resort, um, Obviously, with last resort taken over a year to make, um, the outtake with Vampire Mike and it was noted in my diary, Vampire Mike outtake last resort and the end of joke is now that when I see Vampire Mike in a couple of weeks time in New York, I'm going to be like, will you give us it? <laughs> so I'm, I'm planting a seed there with that. But um, as again, I went on and you know, there was one for 20 quid. You're talking 25 pound postage, but it was the customs that got us. And I'm like, I'm not like, I'm not spending that like, but again, out of the two, um, I believe the English cover has the better push for the movie. You know, that just looks like, what is this? Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, all the stand in front of the green screen Photoshop. I love the octopus, the pirate ship. When these guys go down, look what they bring up. There's a random girl up there and you know, National Lampoons. And you can see a bit of a warp on that. But again, that is ridiculously old. And the other one is, you know, quite a weird one because Fellman looks like Fellman and Haim looks like a photo of, uh, like a drawing of Haim. You know what I mean? And like Corey Haim, Corey Fellman, National Lampoons, Fasten Your Snorkels, it's going to be a bumpy dive, another interesting tagline. But again, it's kind of like, well, what's selling this movie? Now in New Zealand, They've went for fasten your snorkels, it's going to be a bumpy dive, but they've added from the makers of Vacation, European Vacation and Christmas Vacation, and obviously Feldman and the guys thought, you know, National Lampoons might be a safe bet. Again, Lord of Weapon 1 was an absolute, like, work of art. I love Lord of Weapon 1. Feldman's also appearing in that, but again, that's so drained of colour. And Big W, um, $5.18. And I'm a massive fan of stickers on stuff, especially the two Corys. Especially, right, hang on. One final outtake. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. I'm still here. Still walking around here. I've got two, actually. Yep. Professional me. <laughs> two of my favourite gems to have. is a HMV Dream a Little Dream. Uh, check out the Dream a Little Dream video from HMV. And then we've got Prayer of the Roller Boys with the HMV shop, that is old. They're both old. So again, I don't know what big W is, but hey, YouTube still. Last resort, small box sell through, and I'll be keeping my eyes out for a big box one, of course. Thanks for watching, goodbye for now. So why are you still oh, he's still here. This one is from Outback Collectors. Kind of got something to do with Corey here, but not really. See you next time.